is up YouTube, DG Webs are back in with another video. Now today, uh, this is something I haven't seen a lot of information on. I tried doing research on it and I didn't really see a lot of videos uh, specifically about this. This is about the Mishimoto racing thermostat. Is it worth it? Does it actually help you run cooler temperatures? Now, supposedly this is supposed to run like 10 to 15 degrees or maybe even more cooler by opening the thermostat a lot earlier. You're gonna have to forgive me, I don't have the exact numbers in my head right now, but I'll go ahead and post them right here so you guys can know. Definitely interesting, and if this really does help, this is gonna help keep things really cool. Now, coolant actually cools more than just the uh, engine block in this car. It cools the transmission, it cools the oil cooler. It cools a lot of stuff. So having really good, efficient cooling in this car is very important, especially when it comes to oil temperatures and stuff like that which when you start pushing power out of these, that's something you gotta worry about. It all goes hand in hand. And if you don't keep an eye on oil temperature and pressure and stuff, then your G just goes kaboom. And then uh, you're probably gonna cry for a few days. So no crying today. Today, we're gonna be seeing if this actually is going to work. So I'm gonna give you guys some real numbers. I'm gonna run some live data and some real temperatures on what I'm running on my OEM thermostat. This is actually a brand new thermostat. Since I'm going to go high power pretty soon, I want to have the most efficient cooling system I could. Okay, so that's where our needle is at right now, and I've been driving around for about 10 minutes. Um, this is the hottest it has gotten, and this is because I'm idling and it's hot outside. Ignore my ridiculously high intake air temperatures. I know I have a warm air intake. Uh, we'll get that changed out pretty soon here. But yeah, 181 to 175 is basically what I'm running for coolant temperatures, which is phenomenal. It's great, uh, that's pretty ideal. My other thermostat that I was running, that was from AutoZone, I was getting up to 200, which was still okay, but that, that's obviously a lot hotter. So this is definitely cooling more efficiently. This is gonna be really hard for the Michimoto thermostat to be. This is supposedly supposed to run cooler than this. It's supposed to run like, what, 150-ish? Uh, but let's go ahead and install that after this cools down and let's see what temperatures we start running. So here is our Michimoto racing thermostat here. Looks just like OEM. Nice and shiny, pretty cool. Again, this is supposed to open a lot earlier than the, than the normal OEM one. We also uh, got our new thermostat gasket. This is a metal gasket, so this is the best kind. This will pretty much last forever and it's easy to remove. This is actually a pretty simple install. All we really need to do is remove those two hoses on the thermostat right there. And first we're gonna need to drain the coolant. That way we don't get coolant absolutely everywhere. But then it's just a few bolts and then it comes right out and then we can pop the new one in. And honestly, the hardest part about this is we're gonna have to bleed the whole cooling system. Not looking forward to that, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do, so. Let's go ahead and start draining that coolant now. That takes about 10 or 15 minutes actually on this car. Okay, hard to see, but uh, thermostat is out. I did end up making a fat mess because I didn't realize how much coolant was gonna come out of thermostat and it didn't do that last time it did and I drained the coolant before, so uh, whatever. <laughs> but anyways, this gasket is still good, it's brand new, but I am gonna use the new one just cause and then I'll just put this to the side. It was literally just the two hoses and then these three 10 millimeters right here. And it is a little tight in there, but as long, like I was able to do this with just a basic ratchet and uh, and in order to hold the gasket in place, I usually just put a bolt through. You don't need to do all of them, but just one and then try to get that bolt started or at least in the hole. And then that way the gasket will be able to move around enough where you can usually just adjust it and put it through the holes. Otherwise, if you don't do this, it's usually hard to try to get the gasket enough to actually like to actually put it on. So this is a little easy trick. Okay, so bleeding the G35 and 350Zs is actually a little difficult and pretty time consuming. Just the way the engines and everything are engineered. It's very easy for air to get trapped in the system. And if you don't bleed it all the way, it can cause you to overheat and block coolant flow, which is not good. I've had that happen. So if you want to get a filler cap like this. Uh, to where uh, you can actually have coolant come up and down because that is going to happen once the thermostat starts opening and stuff. You're going to want to turn your heat on full blast. You're also going to want to occasionally crack this bleeder screw right here. This little screw right here, you want to crack that open and close it, open and close it as you're bleeding. And you want it to be to where when you open it, only coolant comes out and no air. That will pretty much signify there's no air in the system. You also want this to pretty much stay completely level for I don't know, like 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20, just to be safe. Make sure no air bubbles are coming out of it. You're also gonna to wanna to squeeze the lower hose 
occasionally. Okay, so our coolant level and the filler neck right here has pretty much stayed right there for about 10 or 15 minutes. I don't see any bubbles popping up. So I do think we're good with bleeding the air out of the system. Uh, this took me about 25, 30 minutes. I just want to be 100% sure there was no air in the system. It will cause problems. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the cap back on and then we're gonna take it on the road and we're gonna see what temperatures we're running while we're driving. I don't wanna do it while sitting, especially uh, when I don't even have the cap on. We're not getting our full efficient cooling. I wanna see how this really performs when uh, in an actual setting. So let's go ahead and get this on the road. Okay, so things aren't looking too good. Um, I'm running 204 right now and I'm just cruising. And I haven't even done any like super hard pulls or anything. And the lowest I've seen it go is like 197, 198. Um, so we're running like 20 degrees hotter than we were before with Mishimoto's thermostat in which uh, I'm very not happy about. I just did a hard pull and now I'm running 208. Uh, that's uh, it's a little warm for what we are. Right now we're at 201. Yeah, we're running pretty warm at 199 now, but today is a little warm, but I mean, we were running what, 175, 180 at most before with our OEM thermostat. Right now I'm idling and I have the AC on. Uh, my 195, which is pretty much about as low as it gets. Or 194, okay. Uh, maybe it runs cooler with the AC, I guess. But and now it is possible you need to tune the fans with your thermostat so the fans come on at an earlier temperature as well. I'll uh, see, look, 192, wow. Um, you know, I did have the AC on when I did my first run. So maybe that did affect it. Yeah, look, 190, now we're going down, that's crazy. Okay, so maybe I didn't run a really amazing test, but sitting at idle with the AC on, we dropped to 186. So I guess with the AC fans on, it helps. We're doing 183 right now, which is kind of about what we were doing before. We got 183 while normal driving. This is kind of looking like a bust. Okay guys, so overall, after spending the 62 bucks doing the install, rebleeding cooling system was this worth it for me no yeah, this was not worth it um if anything it did nothing and at worst it actually made me run hotter temperatures um it is a little warmer today but i don't think it really would make that big of a difference this is supposed to run cooler than oem and my oem was running like 175 180 so and honestly that's kind of what i needed to run so i'll probably swap the oem back in and uh, maybe I'll return it, maybe I'll sell this thermostat to someone else, but I'm not really satisfied with it. This is my first experience with Mishimoto, and I usually hear really good things about them, but as far as this thermostat, uh, this pretty much like did nothing. I might as well just get an OEM thermostat or just run no thermostat at all. I mean, it's possible mine is just bad, like it just opens at the wrong time. That is possible, but as far as I am concerned, after doing the test, doing everything properly, uh, no difference in my cooling temperatures whatsoever. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video and you found it helpful, uh, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below how you felt about the video. I appreciate every single one of you guys that regularly follow my channel. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.